Hey, what's up y'all? Thank you so much for checking out another video here on Show, Style, and Spirit. I have a really long review. I took a lot of notes on the latest episode of Power Book 4 Force. It's episode 7 and uh, my phone has been acting up today. That's why my Love and Marriage Huntsville review, I like was talking kind of fast because I was just trying to get through it. So here we go. So Power Book 4 Force Episode 7. The episode opens up with a club scene and Liliana is speaking in Spanish. She's wearing a sexy dress. She um, rocks her scar, I have to say. She plants a kiss on a man and people are using Claudia Flynn's drug Dahlia and the way that they are basically sharing it with people, letting them experience Dahlia, is by planting a kiss on them. Tommy and Claudia meet to talk business. Tommy doesn't want to rush. He thinks that it's best for them to continue to build up the demand for Dahlia by putting people, planting people in the clubs and having them get high with it and kiss other people. The minor aged members of CBI, that's the Chicago Brothers Inc., the street gang that Diamond is head of and his brother Jannard, the minor aged members of CBI, they want to be couriers. They said that if they get picked up, it's not a big deal because they would just get juvie and that that's easy to do. So um, Jannard tells the young man with the locks, you know, he's JP's son, Tommy's nephew. He tells him, you know, you're going to have to prove your trust to me because, you know, I gave you the job of watching Tommy and you gave the money back and didn't want to do it. So he said, you have to let me know where Tommy is so that I can smoke him. So Mr. Flynn's assistant told him he opened the gates of hell by killing the men who tried to take out Vic and Gloria in episode six. Vic spent the night with Gloria and you know, Gloria stayed over to his house, but she left super early in the morning and she left a note saying that you know this is just too hurtful to keep going through this you and i will never have a true relationship because we can never escape your family get up under their thumb and you can tell when gloria tries to leave vic it just really hurts him but um tommy and liliana then they want a cheaper watered down version of dahlia so Dahlia is like, you know, a very expensive drug. It's not really like in the hood yet for, you know, people who aren't like the Flynn's can purchase. And so in the beginning, the scientists and Claudia disagreed on making a watered down cheaper version of Dahlia. But Tommy made it clear to the scientists that she really didn't have a vote in this. And they've been holding her hostage in a lab so that she can work on Dahlia, produce more of it, and now produce a cheaper version of it. And she explains to Liliana, you know, people are going to be looking for me at some point. And Liliana says, call your job. And then she, uh, Liliana pretends to be a doctor. And she tells the scientist's boss that, you know, she has like a health issue right now. You know, of course, due to HIPAA laws, I can't tell you what it is. So that kind of solves that problem. But the scientist has been seeing a guy and she's like, well, I do have this date scheduled. It's date number three. So Liliana is actually gonna go out on the date with her. Oh my gosh. But I have to say, I'm just so happy that the scientist is a black woman and she has short natural hair. It's color blonde, but it is natural. So I just love that they casted that particular actress for the role, and I'm so glad that the scientist is a black woman. Okay, all right, so then we see that Jannard meets with some CBI members about taking out Tommy and selling in Indiana. Diamond is very like, um, he's trying to move carefully, because he doesn't want to end up back in prison. And I totally understand that. But um, his brother, Jannard wants to expand their presence all the way into Gary, Indiana. Liliana is in the lab with the scientists. And so I kind of jumped ahead. I just started speaking off of memory and what, you know, the episode, every episode is just great. But yeah, I'm at the point of my notes where I'm saying how the scientist wants to go to work and, you know, she has a date. 
Okay, so the scientist says that the lower grade of Dahlia could be dangerous to people, but you know, Tommy doesn't get it. He's not a scientist, but he's still not hearing her. So then Tommy meets with his brother, JP, and Tommy confides that people close to him always end up dead. So Tommy is very reluctant to put JP on and let him, you know, deal drugs or be a runner or whatever for more money. But JP insists on doing it, of course. JP lets Tommy know that their grandmother, Marion, has had some sort of health incident recently. He thinks that it may have been an aneurysm or a couple of other things. And JP wants to tell their mother, remember they have different dads, but the same mom, um, that her mother, their grandma, is very sick. And Tommy is absolutely set against it because he doesn't want his mother coming to Chicago and I guess just getting on his nerves. That'll be one more person that Tommy would have to protect. And, you know, she's kind of like a loose cannon. So I get why Tommy doesn't want her to come around. But JP is like, well, I forgive her. And she walked out on me as soon as the doctors cut the umbilical cord. But Tommy is like, absolutely not. Then Claudia asks her dad for a gun for protection, but Mr. Flynn lacks confidence in her as usual. And Mr. Flynn tells Vic to put two guys on watching Claudia. What Mr. Flynn doesn't know is that Claudia is out here making moves to sell this more expensive drug. And also she's already taken out a couple of people. Remember episode six, this is who we are and this is what we do. Tommy was helping her bury the bodies um, out, outside. So then uh, back to this episode, the guy with the locks, which is Tommy's nephew, JP's son, he warns Tommy to watch his back. Tommy asked him, why do you want to help me? And he was like, I have my reasons. So the young man knows that Tommy is his uncle and that they're family, but he won't speak up and say it. Claudia and Liliana, they have a bunch of girls. So they hire a bunch of girls, Claudia and Liliana, and their jobs are to go to the clubs with Dahlia and, you know, plant kisses on people to get people high off of Dahlia and to want to want it, you know, build up the demand.